Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can install uh, PostgreSQL in AWS EC2 instance. So for today's uh, tutorial, I'm going to use AWS Ubuntu instance, and then I'm going to install PostgreSQL database over there, and then I will show you how you can create your first database and then create some tables over there. I have written a blog article regarding this. So if you wanted to copy the comments, you can just view this blog and all those comments are given. So let's get started. I am in my EC2 uh, console dashboard. So here we see there is no instance running. I'm going to launch a new instance with Ubuntu image. So I'm going to click the new uh, launch instance section. Then I'm going to give it a name here like post angry SQL. And then I'm going to choose the base image as Ubuntu. At this moment, uh, we are having uh, Ubuntu 22.04. So I'm going to use that one. Uh, if you use a different image, then uh, please take a note is that all those comments that I'm running here might not work over there. So try to keep the same image as I am taking Ubuntu 22.04 so that you can have the same uh, output that I'm going to show you. Then in the instance type, I'm going to uh, click here and then uh, choose uh, like T3, maybe small. Okay. Then I'm going to choose a key pair. This key pair will be used to connect with your instance. And I'm going to choose a, I can choose an existing security groups because that's not going to be a big difference. Storage is eight gig at this moment, but as you are using database servers, so you might need more storage. I'm going to use like 10 gigs here. But based on your own, uh, like uh, requirements you can choose something different and at this moment i'm going to use gp3 because that seems slightly better then i'm going to go through the advanced details section and here i'm going to choose an instance profile so here i'm going to choose ec2 role that i created uh, this role previously which has uh, like uh, permissions given to access a systems manager, right? So that I can connect from the console. Then I can keep everything as default, just to uh, make sure termination protection, I'm going to enable it because uh, this is a database server and you don't want to delete this accidentally. So have it enabled would uh, save a lot of issues later on. Other things you can keep as it is. So let's go to the next and yeah, looks all good. So launch the instance. So instance launching is very fast. It will not take more than two minutes. So I'm just going to uh, go there and uh, wait for the instance to be launched. Meanwhile, this is being uh, launched and I'm going to just go through the commands. So here are two ways to connect to that instance, right? So you can use like a terminal SSH uh, to be connected here, or you can use putty, but there is a better way that you can use, which is called the session manager. So if you click here, the connect button, right? And then uh, session manager, you can just click connect. So, there is a smart way to connect to your instance. But the precondition is you have to create an IAM, IAM role, which has the SSM full permission. Okay, so that's going to launch. And then, so this section is covered there. Then I'm going to uh, copy these commands and then going to run it. This is installing the latest version of PostgreSQL. Okay, let's go to uh, root user. So do SU, that will go to as a root user and then paste the value here, enter, okay. 
then I'm going to run this command. Remember to copy everything because a lot of a uh, lot of you guys just comment in the video description that it's not working. The only reason that it's not working maybe is that you, you are not copying the uh, commands exactly as it is given here. For example, you have to copy uh, the whole thing, including this dash, right? This is also part of this command. This is not outside. So that's why uh, if you think this is outside part, I just want to copy this. No, you have to copy everything. Otherwise, things will not work. And then we're just going to run this. Yes, I'm going to install it. Okay, looks good. Everything seems to be positive so far. No error. And um, it all seems good. Okay, let's clear this screen. And then let's go to the next command. The next command is to use the user to as a Postgres user. Okay. And then uh, we are going to run this command to connect to that Postgres database. Right, so we are now in the Postgres database. So uh, now we can create a new user and then um, I copy this. Remember to change the password. So it's not like don't use some dummy password. So like hit some strong password, very strong. Okay, I don't know whether this is, is correct. Let's see, add sign. Okay, let's copy this and then run it here. This will create a new user. And I'm going to then, uh, Run this, so role has been altered. And then let's create a new database, right? I just uh, double paste it, so let's do it one and then run it here. So the database is being created, that's good. And then uh, what we can do is like uh, we can uh, switch to the database and then insert new tables over there or maybe do some other things here as well. So you can do this all by yourself, right? So there is no need to give me the whole uh, instructions over there. If you go to the uh, PostgreSQL's official documentation, then they have given a lot of examples how you can add more uh, add columns, add tables, etc. So that's not part of my this tutorial. That is kind of like whole series of how to run. Uh, oh, sorry, where I have gone. This is plural. This is this one. So, so that is that is becomes like whole series series of videos for how how what how do you learn Postgres SQL. That's not part of this video. My part of this video is to install, run, create database, and then uh, I'm going to like restart everything and uh, make sure that you can set up the system so that the developers can work, right? So the database creation is done. So I'm going to now exit. Okay. What I'm going to do is uh, restart the Postgres SQL, right? And 
it will restart it and then I'm going to enable it, right? This is important. So I think as, uh, as we want our database server to be automatically restarted, right? So you should run this command, enable uh, PostgreSQL, then that will make sure that uh, this um, database server is automatically restarted if you reboot, right? If I stop the instance and then start it again, I don't want to run it my, by myself. So I just started this and it should automatically restart each time the server reboots, but the database server becomes like available. Okay, so then um, you can actually uh, connect it again. And this is an example how you can create a table. Let me show you that part as well. Just to make sure that our system is running fine. We are switching to the MyDB database. Okay, let's switch MyDB and then let's create a new table. This is actually very basic. I think you guys all know this, so there is nothing new. So I'm just going to show you that this database server is up and running, right? Certification is done. That's good. So that's it for today. I think uh, this video will uh, help you to set up PostgreSQL in AWS using Ubuntu. It will give you instruction how you can uh, like enable this and make sure that the database server is running up and always. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like this, please share with your friends and your network, which might who might be helpful by seeing these videos. Thank you, everyone. Allah is assalamualaikum.